ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. On today's episode, we are back with the Gamers Cider Company to try another one of their ciders out. This one has actually been a little bit harder to come by than the other two varieties that you can get, mainly because I've never seen it in this sized bottle, well, for a long, long time anyway. Their particular variety we're trying today is Gamers with their Berry Fruits flavour. Um, now, I have seen it in different sized bottles than this, but as for this particular size, it's been quite hard to come by, only really seeing it on uh, beers of Europe. But the question is, how will it taste? We'll be finding out soon, but until then, as with all the other ciders I've done, let's go and give you some details on Gamers Berry Fruits. Gamers Berry Fruits comes in 568ml bottles, but you can also get it in 330ml bottles as well. The alcohol percentage is 4% of volume, so pretty standard strength to be honest. Um, doesn't say if it's going to be sweet or dry, but I'm going to assume it's going to be sweet, you never know. And the price is pretty standard for a gamers bottle. You can get this one for around £1.99, at least off of uh, beers of Europe anyway, but you might get it for cheaper, but just do your shopping about. Now, like I said uh, just a little while ago, um, yeah, the 568ml variety of this is just so hard to come by around my area. The only other um, variety I've seen is uh, the 330ml glass bottles, and they come in multi-packs of four. Now, obviously, I didn't get that because, well, I've not had this before. It's with all, pretty much all the other ciders I've had, so if it's um, going to taste bad, I don't really want to have three other bottles that I'm just going to chuck away or give to other people because I don't like the taste of them. Thankfully, thanks to Beers of Europe, I have managed to find a single bottle of this, so hey hey, this is why I'm reviewing it now. So yeah, there we go, um, pretty much just standard gamers um, bottle design there, you got the label and everything. Although I have found they have just recently changed their um, design, so this is the older design, and I don't actually like the newer design, they're going for the whole um, hippie 70s festival uh, music festival sort of look to it, and to be honest it doesn't really look good at all. I preferred these older designs because it just looked so much better than the old, uh, the newer design, but you know, that's just me. Um, just do a search around and you'll see what I mean with the new designs, but you know, you can hardly understand what it says on the front of them, but anyway, I'm digressing again, let's have a look at the front. Um, cold filtered, oh, knock on the table there, yeah, cold filtered, well, you know, obviously this is an industrially made cider, so, you know, you don't expect anything big off of it. Estid 1770, blah, blah, blah. Pear cider with berry fruits. And this is the other thing. This is actually the pear cider, but it's been, you know, added with uh, berry fruits. It's not the apple cider, so that'll be interesting. For a fruity, refreshing taste. So, we have ice. What does it say on the back? This pear cider, blended with the juice and flavours of real blackberries, strawberries and blackcurrants, has a deliciously fresh fresh and fruity taste. Now that's all it literally says. It, oh, there you go. Um, it actually says on the back it's a me medium pear cider with fruit flavours. So there you go. I didn't think it said anything on the back there, but it does. So, yeah, apparently this is going to be medium tasting. <laughs> yeah, right. With all these berry fruits, it's going to be sweet no matter what. So let's go and get the old bottle open and see exactly how it is. There we go. Right, let's get a whiff. Alright, the um, first thing that instantly hit me there was the uh, hit of black currants. I honestly thought I was going to be hit with strawberries there, but um, yeah, you can smell them, but they're very, you know, they're not as prevalent in some of the other um, mixed fruit ciders that I've had. But yeah, you definitely hit with the um, the dark fruits more than the um, than the red fruits. You know, you've got the black orange, you've got the blackberries in there. Um, yeah, maybe even uh, like red, um, like red cherries, maybe. Yeah, slight understanding to that. Um, doesn't smell too bad, but to be honest, it just smells like you know black currant cordial that you can get off the supermarket shelf. So let's go and pour this in the glass and see. If I get anything else off the nose. Du, 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 du. I won't pour out a full pint even though it is. Because to be honest, I want to get my get my nose in there. So let's have a look at the colour here. Well, no real surprise to see that it's a ready colour, as with most other mixed fruit ciders there. Um standard carbonation as well, so all in all pretty Pretty standard stuff we have here, so let's go and get a whiff in the glass. 
Yeah, now it smells like fizzy blackcurrant cordial. What a surprise. Yeah, no other real um, new aromas coming off with this. You're still getting hit with the, um, the black fruits and everything, so... Guess it's all in the taste, isn't it? So, let's go and give it a go. Cheers, guys, and here's to, um, Gamer's Berry Fruits. Oh, well, that's, um, that's a bit disappointing. There's, uh, very light hints of all these, um, fruits that are mixed in there. But... Nothing really major, to be honest. Um, let's just get a second opinion. Uh, yeah, all you can really taste is sugar. And uh, possibly sweetness that they've added into this. Again, there is, as, as I've just said, that there is very, very light undertones of all these... Um, you know, berry fruits that they've um, put into this, all the flavourings that they've put in. But they're so watered down that you can hardly taste them. It's basically like just... Um, like when you just have really, really watered down squash. You know, like a you know, really watered down blackcurrant squash. That is it, that's exactly what this tastes like. You're just tasting sugar um, and just really watered down flavours. I was expecting to be like overloaded with all these like artificial flavours and that, but really all you are tasting is just complete and utter sweetness. Let's get another one. Yeah, there's nothing else to this glass at all. Just um getting that gummy texture at the back of the throat, which is pretty much standard for these sorts of ciders, so um well it it kind of, that's kind of thrown me back actually because I was really expecting um, to just be bombarded with especially strawberry notes because usually when they add strawberries to mixed fruit ciders it completely overpowers everything but not here this um, almost nothing to this cider you're just drinking fizzy fizzy water with maybe just a hint of blackcurrant ah well so not what I was expecting but there you go um Let's just get another one. I don't think the carbonation helps much either because it's um, so carbonated in your mouth that it just kind of detracts from any flavours that you might um, get off of this. Another thing I will say is there's absolutely no aftertaste to it at all. Apart from the gumminess at the back, obviously. So you're having trouble swallowing after every mouthful. And, um, yeah, as for pear cider, no. I, there's no pear aromas, there's no pear tastes, you know, just, you might as well just clear the pear cider thing off of that because it's, yeah, there's, there's nothing there. There is absolutely nothing there. So, um, well, I'm going to cut to the chase and get a final taste before the belch. <coughs> Excuse me. A uh, final taste before the final verdict. Yeah, there's, well, one word can easily describe this cider, and that is nothing. There's nothing to it. There's, yeah, it's just absolutely completely watered down, highly, highly sugared up, so full of sweeteners and everything, and there's just no discernible flavours to it at all. I mean, yeah, you know, for just the easy drinker and everything, this is the absolutely perfect cider because, you know, it just doesn't taste strong at all. Um, but obviously for the, the hardcore cider drinkers and everything, you wouldn't even touch this with a 10 foot barge pole to be honest. So, um, for a verdict, Gamers Pear Cider with Berry Fruits gets a 3 out of 10. Um, it's not, you know, obviously it's not terribly tasting, but, you know, there's no real taste going on here anyway, so you might as well look elsewhere. As you know, a little while ago I did do, um... You know, I did do some uh, mixed mixed fruit cider reviews, and at least they had flavours, albeit being very, very artificial and everything. Um, you know, like a, like the Copenberg that I did, you know, strawberry and lime, at least um, that had some flavour to it. But this one just has absolutely nothing, so... Excuse me. Apart from belches are plenty. Yeah, another one. Yeah. Good Lord. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to have fun with this one, I can tell you. Um, 
yeah, I wouldn't bother buying this, even for £1.99 again. I've tasted much better mixed fruit ciders, so um, might just stick to the normal gamers, to be honest. At least that has some flavour to it. Oh, well, there we go. That's another episode of the Cider Drinker over for you guys. Hope you liked it, and I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, well, it's completely inoffensive, so I will be finishing this bottle of Gamer's Pear Cider with Berry Fruit Soft and probably won't be getting it again. So, take care guys, until next time.